Sofia is one of the liveliest capital cities in the Balkans. If you are looking for fun, there is no better place to visit than this cool, vibrant town. Here you will find museums, landmarks, galleries, and restaurants around every corner. From foodie districts to cultural areas, these neighborhoods in Sofia have it all. Each of the neighborhoods listed in the article offers you a different set of attractions. So, let's look at them in detail and choose the best one for you. In this video, I'm going to walk you through Sofia on a virtual tour, pointing out interesting features and landmarks, and telling you about all of the characteristics of some of the city's most inviting and fascinating areas. I'll start with Sofia City Center. Sofia City Center is an area that is full of historical landmarks, beautiful buildings, cafes, and shops. Don't miss to take a walk on the yellow pavers or visit St. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. You can visit the beautiful Royal Palace in the heart of the city center. Vitosha is located on the outskirts of Sofia in the heart of Vitosha Mountain and near the Ring Road. It is definitely one of the most expensive places to live in the Bulgarian capital. In this neighborhood are the residences of the government, the diplomatic corps, and the presidential palace. Vitosha district is one of the quietest and safest places to stay in Sofia. In this area you can visit the unique 10 centuries old Boyana Church and the National History Museum. Lozenitz is located south of the city and near the Vitosha district. It is one of the best residential and famous neighborhoods in Sofia. It was constructed during the communist era, today it is one of the most expensive areas in the Bulgarian capital. Studensky Grad, student town, is the most colorful place in Sofia. In this part of the city are located almost all universities and the most popular clubs. This neighborhood never sleeps and is a paradise for nightlife fans. Obrist is a small neighborhood and is almost part of the center. It is often considered one of the quietest and safest areas in Sofia, which makes it very popular as a place to stay. If you are a fan of theater and cinema, here you can find the National Opera, Sofia Drama Theater, Puppet Theater, and the House of Cinema and Theater. One of the most famous landmarks in this location is the Monument of Vasil Levski, one of the greatest Bulgarian heroes. Lyban Karavlov Street is in the central part of Sofia. This upper-class neighborhood connects two of the most popular places, all of most, and the National Palace of Culture, NDK. This location is very communicative and offers many nice places you can stay in. It also provides visitors with nice cafes and shops, and very good middle-class restaurants. This area of Sofia is considered one of the safest places, because here are the embassies of several European countries. Sofia Airport District is located 10 kilometers from the city center. Although on the outskirts of Sofia, this is one of the busiest areas, with thousands of people passing by every day. One of the most important connections in Sofia is between the airport and the center. Zhensky Pazer is located in the central part of the city near to Lyons Bridge. The name of the district comes from the largest and oldest open-air market in Sofia, founded almost two centuries ago. Boulevard Vitosha is one of the most high-end destinations in Sofia. Designer shops are abundant in the area, and the hotels and restaurants are of a similar caliber, making it the perfect destination for those looking to spoil themselves. Constructed at the beginning of the 20th century, the stunning neo-Byzantine architecture of the Cathedral St. Alexander Nevsky is quite a sight to behold. Named after the Russian St. Alexander Nevsky, it was built to commemorate the lives lost during the Russo-Turkish War of the late 1800s. NDK stands for National and Dvoritsna Kultura, which translates to National Palace of Culture. It is the largest multifunctional conference and exhibition center in Southeast Europe, first opened in 1981, to celebrate Bulgaria's 1,300th birthday. Located one kilometer north of the city center, the Sofia Central Railway Station is the main passenger train station in Bulgaria. Located immediately next to the central bus station Sofia, this area is ideal for anyone traveling to the city using public transport. Mladis translates to youth, which is an incredibly accurate representation of the area. The residents of Mladost primarily consist of young families and students, taking advantage of the lower prices on offer. For the same reason, it also has a very diverse mix of cultures from all across Europe. Located at the foot of Vitosha Mountain, on the outskirts of the city, Boyana is a historic district, containing numerous buildings of historical significance. The 10th century Boyana Church is one of the city's most visited locations. Included on the UNESCO World Heritage List, it is one of the oldest Bulgarian Orthodox churches in existence. You also have the National History Museum, to give you all the information you could want on the history of Bulgaria. Dragolevsi is another quiet location, full of traditional architecture and historic locations. Along with neighboring Semyonovo, it is considered one of the gates to Mount Vitosha, offering stunning views, as well as scenic hiking trails off into the countryside. 
Sofia is one of the most dynamic and beautiful capitals in Europe. The city has been repeatedly identified as the safest, most accessible, and cheapest. Many global companies rank Sofia as the best for starting a business. From the Balkan capitals, Sofia offers the largest and most diverse selection of hotels, hostels, and places to stay. Finding your place in the capital of Bulgaria is not difficult at all, even without a reservation.